Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me for today's video. It's requested and I'm just here to explain significant figures. And we consider these to be all important single digits between zero and nine inclusive. There are some rules you follow to, under to better understand significant figures. And we are going to get into it right now. So I wrote them down for you. I'm going to explain them as I go. So significant um, figure rules. The first one that says all non-zero digits are significant. The non-zero here, they're basically talking about your counting numbers. So if you look at the, number, the, the example I have here, 7, 3, and 8 are considered to be non-zero numbers. So those numbers are considered to be significant. And they also lie between 0 and 9. So zero, um, between non-zero numbers are also significant. When you look at this example, it says zero is between non-zero numbers. So we establish that non-zero numbers are like um, 1, 4, 5, and 6. All right? So zeros between these numbers would be like a 1, 0, 4, 0, 5, and 6. So the in-between zeros you're talking about here, these zeros are considered to be significant. So if I should ask you how many significant figures are in the first one, one, four, five, six, you'd say one is your first significant figure, four is the second, five is the third, and six is the fourth. And the one below has one, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. So in between zeros are significant. The third one says trailing zeros to the right of a decimal point are significant. As you know, when you go to your decimal point, you talk about the place of the system. And once you're in the place of the system, you know a tenth, hundred, thousand, tens of thousand with a TH behind it. So you know that those, those numbers are actually important because you want to know how small is this number. So Number 10 to the right of the decimal point are significant. Also, if a bar is above the zero, uh, a bar is above the above a zero, a non-zero number. That should be a non-zero number. So right here, it would be like you have 0 0.330. And you see the bar they talk about here is basically saying that this is a recurring number. And it recurs for X amount of time. So things like that is what you pay attention to. Leading zeros are not significant. And these zeros are zeros, just are zeros, I'm stuttering, that appears before your first significant number, but after the decimal point. So like these three zeros here are considered to be leading zeros and they are not significant. If you look at the zero here between the three and the eight, this zero, this zero is considered to be significant, and the zero at the end of the number is considered to be a trailing zero, and that is also significant. So we have some examples here where we're going to look at the numbers and identify the amount of significant figure that they have. So right here, 508, we see that this one has a in-between zero. So we know that this zero here is significant. So this one has three significant figures. This one, 508.0. In this case, we have one, two, three, four significant figure because this zero is the in-between. And this zero is the trailing one, but it comes after your decimal point, so it is significant. So here we have four significant figures. This one, 820400.0. So we have one, two, in between, three, four, trailing, five, six. Another zero is here after the decimal point. That's also significant. So we have seven significant figures for that one. This one is 42,000. So it's 42,000. So these zeros you see here are considered to be trailing zeros, but since there's no decimal point and no visible decimal point there, 
we're going to consider only the two first digits or the two first numbers to be significant. So this one has two significant figures. All right, I hope this video was useful for you. In the next video, I'm going to be explaining to you how to simplify or to write a number into its correct significant figure. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to, to assist you.